Well, one of the main reasons that I decided to come to West Point was because I knew that I wanted to serve my country. And that passion came from a very young age when I was about 11 years old and my family actually came to West Point on a family picnic. And we sat up at Trophy Point and during that time period, it was during the summer, it was during cadet basic training and the new cadets were doing combatives on daily field. And I just fell in love with the atmosphere. I fell in love with the new cadets. I fell in love with the entire environment of West Point. And from that point on, I knew that this is definitely the place that I wanted to be. And it's definitely the place that, that I knew that I needed to get to in order to fulfill that, that main goal of being able to serve my country. It's definitely been a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. Being able to manage my time as an athlete as well as my time as first captain, it, it is very challenging. I guess some of the things that I do in order to incorporate the time would be to prioritize. And there are often times when first captain would prioritize over some of the duties that come with being track captain. But then once again, there are those times where being tra track captain is where I need to be. And, and that's just kind of how I have to lay out my time. Well, sir, my greatest uh, highlight as an athlete was two weeks ago when we beat Navy for the first time in seven years. Our women's team, we really stepped it up, stepped up to the plate and left nothing on the track. Every single point mattered and every single girl stepped up to the line um, and just we came out on top and it was the greatest experience at, my, at the academy so far. The, the process of becoming first captain was very long, very drawn out. Last summer I held the position of the CBT-1 Cadet Basic Training 1 Regimental Commander for the incoming class of 2017 and throughout that process I guess it was um, the leadership tenants that, that they noticed where the commandant decided that I think that um, I would be a, a good fit for the first captain role. And from then on out, it has just every single day been an honor and a privilege to be able to serve the Corps and be able to give everything that I possibly can for the Corps of Cadets to make their time here at the Academy much more enjoyable. So I branched Army Aviation and on August 3rd, I will report down to Fort Rucker, Alabama where I will attend Bullock, then I will go through Sears School, and from there I will attend Flight School. And eventually I hope to be able to fly Apaches for the Army and potentially serve in the 160th. I never thought I would make it this far, I'll be completely honest. I was a recruited athlete, I never really had the best grades in high school. Um, if, it, if it honestly wasn't for the gentleman who recruited me, I don't even know if I would be here today. So to be able to hold the position of track captain, the position of first captain, and to soon be a commissioned um, officer in the United States Army, it is my absolute dream come true. And every single day I, I thank God for all of the privileges and all the people that he has provided me with because I definitely could not have done it without them. My name is Lindsay Danilak. I'm the class of 2014 and I'm the captain of the Army track and field team.